This episode, I'll be teaching you how to work with the border pane layout pane, and it's a layout manager, as I call it, that allows you to lay out your nodes and your child nodes within a five section layout. So on the screen right now, you can see a picture of what it might look like if you're going to visualize it. It's like a you have a top here, you have a right here, a left here, a center here, and a bottom here. So you have five different little sections or border panes, and then you can um, put your child nodes in each of those sections, and then it's going to be laid out in that way, okay? So last episode we went over the H box and the V box and that's one way but this is another way basically. And uh, yeah, so it's very simple. This is going to be a very short episode because it's so simple but let's get right into it. So border pane and then we're going to call this root because it's going to be our root node for our JavaFX application. And so we're going to say new border pane, okay? And there we go, okay? So that's how I do that. And then now what we need to do is put some actual nodes in here, right? We need to display some stuff inside of our border pane if we're going to, you know, test it out, obviously, right? Because if we run this right now, it's not going to show anything because there's nothing to show, obviously. See, like, it's just that, right? And by the way, let's set this to a 500 by 500 square so we can just, uh, it's just, it'll look better if we do that. So 500 stage dot set height. 500 okay so now we got a nice little square so like I said before we need to put something inside of the border pane so we can see how it works so let's just create a bunch of buttons to put inside of here so we're gonna do five buttons so b1 is for the, for the first one say new button and we're gonna say one and we're just gonna make four more of these because we need five total because there are five different sections within the border pane and I like to call them sections but I don't think they're actually called sections but that's what I call them. They're probably called border panes, but the whole object is called border pane anyway, so that's a, that gets a little confusing. Uh, but anyway, so we're gonna make four, and then we're gonna make five here, okay? So there we go, we got five buttons, and now we want to display them within the border pane. And so usually whenever we wanna add a node or a child node to a parent node or a layout pane, we could simply do root.getchildren.add all, right? And we could do that usually, but that's not how you do it with a border pane. Because if we do it like this, we're not telling the border pane where to display these different nodes that we're adding, right? Because the way the border pane works is it has five sections, and we need to tell each child node we put in that border pane which section it needs to be inside of, right? So if we run this right now, nothing is going to be displayed because we haven't told it where to display those child nodes. So yeah, you can't use this with border panes exactly, okay? So the way you would set the location for a child node in a border pane, you would do b1 dot, you would do root dot set, and then you have all these different set methods here, okay? And the most important ones are the five set methods for the sections. So you have set right, set left, set bottom, set top, and set center. So we're gonna set the first one to set center, because that's the most uh, basic one, I guess. And so let's see how that looks, okay? So we're setting this node to the center of the border pane. Really simple. And there we go. So now we can see it that it's in the center. Really awesome, right? Really cool. Um, so now we can add these other ones if you want to by calling upon the other methods that come with the border pane. So set right, set left. Um, we'll do set top first. So set top. So set top is going to be B2. Root dot set bottom. It's going to be B3. Set left. It's going to be B4. And then finally, roots.setWrite is going to be B5, okay? So those are the five child nodes that we're adding. And then now let's see what this looks like. And I'm just going to warn you right now, it's not going to look how you expect it to look. So yeah, two of them are up here, which is not exactly what you expect because we told, um, we told one to be in the center, which it is. But then we have two, and then we have four are up here, right? And then we have two, which is supposed to be at the top. And it's also on the left and that's a little confusing because you might think whenever you put something in a section that it's going to be in the center of that section just in terms of its layout but with buttons it's a little weird it just puts it to the left of the section basically so there's a way to control where you want the node to be within the section that's called a set alignment method here it's within here it's called yeah set alignment it's within the border pane class here i have the documentation open and it accepts two parameters you accept the child node itself and then you get the position for that child node and we worked with the position object before whenever we're changing the alignment of stuff um so this is the alignment right so it's basically going to take that child node and then set the alignment for that child node in the section we'll see how that works in a second but first recognize that it's a static void method that means that we need to call it from the class itself not from the object of the class because it's static and that's how static uh, methods work with static methods if you don't know you should know but static methods are basically methods that you can call directly from the class without without having to declare a new object of that class okay so now let's open this up here 
And then let's try using this cool method, right? So like I said, we need to use the class to declare it. So we can do border pane dot, and then now we have all these different methods here. So set alignment, it's a static method, so it's available right here. So control P to see the parameters, and we see the first one is node. So first we need to provide the node that we want to, you know, um, change the alignment for, right? So whenever we had the application open a second ago, we saw that this that the top one was over to the left of the top. So let's try moving it to the center. So we'll target B2. And we're targeting B2 because it's in the top, right? We set it to the top section. So we're gonna target that and this is gonna automatically recognize which section B2 is a part of. And so we're gonna do B2 and then position. It's asking for a position here, right? So we do POS position dot. And then now we have, have all these different positions that we saw before. So we're gonna do center. And then now let's run this and see how it looks like. And boom, so now we have the top one in the center, right? That makes a little more sense whenever you're working with um, the border pane, right? If you want to have it in the center, right? And by the way, keep in mind, whenever you're working with other child nodes or other controls other than the button, it's going to be stretched out all the way to the width of the entire section, okay? So, for example, if I have a, um, if I have a text area here, it's going to stretch out all the way for the width of the section. So let me show you how that looks real quick. I'm just going to copy this real quick. Okay, so I have a little example project that I just copied real quick. I didn't make it, but... Here we go, so we're running this, and we can see that every single text area that we have here, we haven't gone over the text area, by the way, but we'll be going over that soon enough. And every single text area that we have here is stretched out to the width of the border pane, right? Or each pane inside the border pane. So we can see that the top one is, is extended all the way because the entire top section is like this. And I'll put that picture back up here so you can see what it looks like. So that's why it's stretched out all the way, because if you see that picture on the left, you can see that that's how big the top uh, section is, right? So yeah, again, it's just gonna stretch out to the entire width of the section that it's currently in, okay? That's just how it works. And for some reason, the button doesn't work like that, but now you know, okay? So yeah, that's how you set the alignment of a child within the border pane, in case you ever need to do that, like we just did here. And so let's test it out one more time. We'll try moving this five right here. The five is in the right section. So we're gonna try moving it to the bottom center or something like that, right? So let's try doing that so we can target it. By doing border pane dot set alignment and then we're going to do b5 and then position dot um let's see baseline center maybe that i think that's probably the bottom maybe let's see how that works and no that didn't do anything okay so let's try see if there's an, a better one we could use uh we'll do bottom center that's probably going to work better for what we want to do Okay, so we're trying to move the B5 in the right section to the bottom center. And it's not moving to the bottom center for some reason. It's probably just another problem with the button. Uh, but yeah, you get the point. It's able to move it if we needed to move, okay? So anyway, those are the five or the six different set methods that you can use within the border pane uh, object that allow you to do really cool stuff, like set the positions of the nodes and then set the alignment of the nodes within the sections, okay? So yeah, those are the most important methods that you can use. Of course, there's more methods that you can use within a border pane object. Like if you do root here, we can see that there's a bunch of different methods. And those are the most important ones though, so we don't really have to go over the other ones. So, but the other ones that you might wanna know about is the get method, so you can get the nodes if you ever need to get them get you know just a bunch of stuff you'll get used to these in the future and don't worry by the way we're going to get plenty of experience working with the border pane in our future episodes when we actually make some real world projects okay so this is just a more of a brief overview of the border pane object and then future episodes we're actually going to go over how to use it and what it would look like in a real application okay so that's about it if you have any questions you can ask a question in the comment section below or you can join our discord server and ask a question there we have about 400 people you can get some new friends if you don't have any or you can ask questions whatever you want to do leave suggestions anything and then also we have the code for today's episode in the description below so make sure to check out the link and then bookmark it for future use in case you forget how to use a border pane and all that fun stuff okay and then finally if you want to support this channel you can click the join button below this video and then you can become a member of this channel for one dollar five dollars or ten dollars a month it's your choice and you can cancel any time no worries so yeah you don't have to do that but if you would do that i'd be highly grateful and that's about it so if you like this video leave a like if you want to see more subscribe and peace